Hey guys, it's Eric and so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. And right here is my iPhone and as usual, I'm charging when I'm filming because you know, it's always low battery because I keep using it the entire day and now it is low battery again. <laughs> Some of you guys actually requested for me to do this video and so finally today I'm going to be doing it. So you guys are going to see what's on my phone and like you know what apps I use and all of those stuff is going to be interesting. So. Hello, keep watching. <laughs> By the way, if this is your first time watching me, then hello to you. My name is Eric, and thank you so much for watching me right now. Be sure to sure subscribe to my channel. Also, tap the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you did that, let me know down in the comments, because maybe you'll win the next shout-out for my next video. By the way, shout-out to these people right here for turning on post notifications and being amazing as always. Thanks, fam. And now, let me show you what's on this phone. So, welcome to my iPhone. So, my background right now is from Paris, and as you can see, in the background that is the Eiffel Tower and it took this and it's so amazing so that's why I put it as my background let's go ahead and open up my phone so if we swipe left as you can see here I have so many stuff on here and one of them is the phone battery that I have I usually have this because I want to see how much percent my airpods is on whenever I'm wearing it and also I have 20% like hello and this is my subscriber account like that's you guys you know like in my heart every day my day one my day zero or something and the next one right here I actually didn't update this one but this this is like nine months since the last time I was in Paris like what is this right now and this one is the weather cuz I want to know what the temperature be like and this is fighting friends and screen time so today I've been on my phone for five hours and 28 minutes me wasting my day right there and now let's go back here in the first page and for the first page I have mail calendar photos camera maps clock weather wallet notes reminders news iTunes store app store books Health. Let's check out my health for now because you know, how's my health been? As you can see here, I did not do any steps today, only 394 because I'm a potato and potatoes don't walk. So anyways, let's go back to the home screen and I have settings. FaceTime, calculator, extras, I have this extras folders because I don't really use them. And in this folder, I have compass, tips, voice memos, contacts, find friends, find iPhone, and AdSense. And the next one is Chase. Google Maps, Transit, Navigation, and Translate. I have this one on because usually when I go travel, I don't know which place to go to or how to go around the city or something like that. So usually I have the Uber, Yelp, and Go LA. Like find your way in LA me too and also i have this translate app in the first page because sometimes when i'm working at my job which is at gap i would usually get customers from like germany france spain and i'm just like que paso right now like you know i need to understand them so usually i just pull up my google translate and communicate with them from there on the bottom i have the phone safari messages and music on to the next page which is this one right here as you can see i have facebook Messenger, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Funnymate, TikTok, TikTok, Live, Vigo Video, Lively, Netflix, Skype, Kick, Spectrum TV, Time Hop, Chrome, Gmail, Play Memories, Kawai, Firework, and App Valley. So basically, all of my second page right here is where all of the social medias are, and a lot of you guys are asking me how do I have two TikToks basically if you guys didn't know this is the original musically TikTok so basically I had that for like a very long time now and this is the original TikTok this is actually their original app the TikTok one and it looks much more different than what we have on the musically TikTok and this is my account from the original TikTok that I made like ages ago probably from last year so I have this one and the username is just at Eric which is so cool yeah basically that's how I have two TikToks this is the original TikTok TikTok, which I had for like a long time now and also if you guys don't have me on like this is my like app let me show you guys the profile right now and that is my profile for the like app and we recently reached 100k fans which is amazing so hello hello to my honeys yeah that's pretty much my like app it's at life with Eric and I'll see you guys there soon and Vigo video I don't really use this as much but it's just like sitting there you know what I mean and also the lively app only the real musers would remember this one like Oh, I miss this one so much. I remember going live using this one, but if you go live here, you know it's gonna say like, 
hello what this right now also for the play memories app right here in the bottom that is when i take pictures using my camera and i want the pictures right away i could just simply transfer the pictures from my camera to the phone without using a computer so the next picture is as you can see it's just like a mess like what is this big mess right now i don't usually organize my phone because you know i'm lazy but right here i have transportation this used to have so many apps but then i guess most of them like just got deleted because they're really old and they're not in the app store anymore so i have nyc subway if you live in new york city this is a very helpful app for you to check where you're going because you know it's very confusing because you know like what is this spaghetti lines right now so many spaghettis and also i have this plug share i used to use this a lot whenever i'm outside and i need to charge my phone somewhere the app would tell you where to charge your phone where there's free outlets and so on the next one right here is editing apps i don't use most of them anymore but the recent ones that i use is visco iMovie and facetune so those are the apps right there there and on to the next one this is internet tools so for the internet tools folder i have social blade browser team viewer documents followers plus and speed test i have speed test right here because usually sometimes my internet would like act weird and i would check if it's working so if i just click on go like that you could see how fast your internet and so on and let's see if my wi-fi is working right now <gasps> yes it is working confirmed the next folder that i have is school stuff right here because whenever i'm in school it's either I'm writing a paper on Google Docs or I'm, I have to print something I'm gonna go on HP smart Google photos I save my pictures and videos there that are taken on my phone so that in case I have to delete them it's still saved on the Google photos and the next ones that I have here is bitmoji Diddy PayPal I don't know how to say this in French you know it's like Ju. so one time before I used to be so obsessed with like quizzes and all of those stuff and for this ones right here they basically host like games and all of those stuff and if you answer all of the questions right what's gonna happen is that they're gonna give you money and I'm just like oh my goodness money right now so yeah basically those are the apps right there and now let's check out on the other apps so this one is games it's just like sitting here it's not really as organized <laughs> and i have roblox right here as you can see and arena one thing about me is that from time to time i would like try out different video editing apps or photo editing apps for me to show you guys all my tutorials and to make you guys editing lives easier so i don't remember actually video leap but i just downloaded this one to try it out and i didn't really try it out as much so yeah and the next ones that i have is this video folder right here this is basically what i use for most of my slow most are videos on tiktok so the first thing on the list is video star like i usually use video star in my slow most and all of those stuff yeah fun if you guys want to learn more about how to use video star i actually made a video about that one and i'm gonna be putting a link down in the description for you guys to click on if you want to watch it the next one is rotate flip noise thing rfv reverse vid glitch and ghost lens ar and same thing for hyperlapse so this app right here i haven't really talked about this one but if you guys would like me to make a video about how to use video effects like you know like cloning or glitching effect on your videos without using video star let me know in the comments below if you actually want me to do that and possibly i will in the future because this app right here is very helpful and now on to the next one i have quick support like you know like tech support right now i have measure best buy light space you guys know light space if you guys have watched my 3d drawing tutorial google earth a live app same thing if you guys have watched the 3d tutorial amazon cinema time linkedin bit smash snow spotify red like you know my spotify be like oh, happy halloween right now it's red so yeah, if you guys don't have me on spotify then feel free to follow me and check out the playlist that i have right here that i compiled for you guys because you know life is good with these songs like i like me better and the last one is of course Fortnite. I don't actually play as much anymore, but it's just sitting there. And on to the next page, it would be BH Video. This is usually where I buy my camera equipment or when I bought my new computer recently this year. Voice Recorder, Shift, Duolingo. That's the app that I use if I want to continue my French or I want to learn different languages like German, Italian, and so on. And Photo Scan, this app is very helpful. If let's say you want to scan something but you don't have a scanner or like, you know, a printer with a scanner thing, Majigi. If you take a picture right here using the photo scan it actually looks like you scanned a paper or something like that so that is cool Waze app i don't know why i have that i don't even drive mta bus time that is really helpful as well if you live in new york city and you're waiting for the bus candy crush saga i'm pretty sure you guys know this app like almost everyone plays this app like once in their lifetime you know like or maybe you saw someone playing this in a train and from this one i have video to gif I used this one once when I made my video into a GIF and countdown, follow track, GIF keyboard, video crop, 
app valley again whoa there's two app valleys i did not know that kobe darts Moji Bowling, Lasso, and Tap Tap Reborn 2. As you can see, it's pretty random. I didn't really organize them as much. And on to the next page, and it would be Text Now, Vine Camera, Sub Count, Venmo, Yarn. I used to be obsessed with Yarn at some point this year because you could read so many stories on there and you're just like, ooh, interesting. And also I have TFC. Kung Filipino ka at nanonood ka nitong video na to, alam mo kung ano yan. Diyan basically, pwede ka manood ng teleserye kahit wala ka sa Pilipinas. The next one would be Close Up, WhatsApp, Slack, Duck the Line. I used this once when I was gonna go to Notre Dame in Paris. But yeah, I don't think it works here in America. It doesn't work here in America like me too. Vigo, same thing as Vigo Video. Switch, Huji. Huji is really cool guys. You guys don't have this. It basically can take any picture that you want. And it looks like it was taken from the 90s or something like that. Like I have tons right here that I never uploaded. But it's just like sitting here like what is this right now? Me enjoying life. And the last one is Duo Mobile. As you can see... It's pretty random again and I should definitely fix my phone and on to the next page toot, toot, toot. So this one is sent anywhere if you guys are wanting to send pictures or videos to a person who doesn't have an iPhone Because if you guys don't know if you have an iPhone or any iOS device You could easily transfer pictures or videos to someone who's next to you using airdrop But if they don't have airdrop one way that you could fix them is by using send anywhere It's basically the same thing, but it's an app like hello me too Radios I use this one when I was in Paris Paris. I was listening to many variety of radio stations in Paris, which is real cool. Word reference, I used that as well when I was in Paris. Thriller, who, and travel. As you can see here, I have this travel folder that's just sitting here. This is basically where I look at let's say train tickets or plane tickets to anywhere where I wanted to go and that's pretty much it so that is what's on my telephone as you can see many different apps right here and a few of you guys actually asked me how much storage I have on my phone because if you go to my photos as you can see right here that I have like 14,900 pictures like that's crazy I need to clean up my phone and basically my phone can hold up to 256 gigabytes of stuff so you know as you can see it's almost done like oh no and that's pretty much what's on my telephone now. let's call up Siri hello Siri je vous reçois 5 sur 5 allez-y what oui quoi la météo aujourd'hui Voici la météo d'aujourd'hui. Yeah, bon weather right now as you can see. And we are pretty much done touring what's on my iPhone. So that's pretty much what's on my iPhone X. And so I hope you guys find this video really interesting and if you did find it interesting then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up also if you guys want me to do any kinds of videos in the future let me know that in the comments as well and i'll be reading you guys' responses if you guys have a tiktok and you don't follow me yet be sure to follow me at life with eric and i'll see you guys here and lastly don't forget to follow me on all my social medias and which links will be in the down bar below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video okay okay Bye.